Hey guys, so iPhone 16 is here with the latest iOS 18 and on the other hand we have our iPhone 15 with the old iOS 17. And today in this video we're gonna be comparing iOS 18 versus iOS 17 and it's gonna be a speed test. So as you know that iPhone 16 is completely new with iOS 18 installed and the iPhone 15 is a year old device and is currently running in iOS 17. So both of these phones are completely charged and both of these phones have 100% battery health. So the iPhone 16 has a chip which consists of a 6 core CPU with a 5 core GPU and a 16 core neural engine. While on the other hand iPhone 15 has a 16 bionic chip which also consists of 6 core CPU and a 5 core GPU with 16 core neural engine. And it was told in the keynote that the A18 chip is 30% faster than the A16 Bionic chip. So that is why the comparison between both these devices and the iOS versions is gonna be interesting. So without wasting anyone's time let's first hit the intro. So before doing the speed test we have 7 metrics and we're gonna be judging both of these phones based on these 7 metrics. So in that list the first one is the boot speed test. So on the left side we have a lovely iPhone 16 and on the right side we have our old iPhone 15. And if I just open the control center here you can see that both of these phones are charged. So iPhone 16 is right now on 96% and iPhone 15 is right now on 98% so there's not a major difference in charging. And also if we talk about battery health so first let me go to settings. So if we talk about battery, both of these devices have 100% battery and the cycle count of iPhone 16 is 1 and on the other end the iPhone 15 cycle count is 48 and both of their devices battery health is normal. So that way there will be less discrepancies in the speed test. And also just recently I have reset both of these phones. So that way on the iPhone 15 there is not much data so it won't require much computing power. And after resetting the phone everything in the home screen is pretty similar. So this is how both of the phones look straight out of the box after resetting. So now for the boot speed test first what we have to do is to make sure that both of these phones are turned off completely so let's do that so now both of our phones are switched off now what we'll do is we'll press the power button on both of these devices at the same time and then we'll observe and record the exact time when the apple logo appears on the screen and when the phone reaches the lock screen so the logo appeared earlier in the 15 surprisingly but here iPhone 16 caught up and it showed the lock screen earlier than the iPhone 15. And after we opened the lock screen they both opened simultaneously. But having said that since iPhone 16 is new and a latest device I'll give the boot speed test award to iPhone 16 which is currently donning the iOS 18 version. Now on the second test we have the app launch test where what we'll do is we'll install and arrange the same app in the same order on both of the phone's home screen and then we'll choose a variety of apps that are used regularly. Then after that we'll launch each app on the phones at the same time and after that we'll record that how much long does it take for each app to load and we'll also perform the test multiple times for better results and reliability. So let's see what's the difference between iOS 18 and iOS 17. So now let's first open the Safari app. Now let's open the Instagram app. Now let's try the camera app. Now let's see the photos app. Now let's check for the settings app. So now let's open the YouTube app. So after the app launch test is done, so overall iPhone 16 with iOS 18 was slightly faster than iPhone 15 with iOS 17 and we opened all of the apps multiple times so mostly iPhone 16 was slightly faster. But when we were opening the YouTube apps, but surprisingly most of the times iPhone 15 was faster than iPhone 16. But however in one or two instances iPhone 16 became faster than iPhone 15. So I would say in terms of app launch both of these OS are pretty much faster. There is only a minuscule and minor level difference only when we see them side by side comparing otherwise in the real world you won't even feel it all right now on the third number we have the multitasking test where we'll do the similar things that means that we'll open multiple apps on both of these devices before the test for example mail safari youtube instagram etc then we'll switch between the open app by using the swipe between apps feature in the recent tab and then we'll record how quickly both of these devices switch between the apps and whether any apps need to be reloaded due to memory management so we have opened all of our apps so let's see which one has a better RAM management since iPhone 16 already has 8 GB of RAM and while on the other hand iPhone 15 only has 6 GB of RAM. So as you can see we've opened lots of apps in both of these devices. So as you can see here in the iPhone 16 and here in iPhone 15 as well. 
So now let's switch between apps and let's see. Let's go back to the first app. Let's go to FaceTime. My phone 16 is a bit faster. Notes app. So again, when we opened lots of apps and switched between all of the apps, we couldn't find any major difference in both of these devices as both of these devices open all of the apps at the same time. And if not the same time, at a very accurate similar time. So for the multitasking test, I would say both of them are performing similarly and we cannot provide a clear winner. So the results will be inconclusive. All right. On the fourth number, we have the web browsing test where we'll basically connect both of the phones to the same Wi-Fi network and make sure that we have already cleared the browser cache on both of these devices. Then we'll open a browser, preferably Safari, on both the devices and simultaneously load the website. For example, Apple's homepage, YouTube or any heavy content website. And we'll check how quickly the pages load and they become fully interactive. So let's do that. So let's first open the Safari app. I'm Jade. Trading in a device at Apple is a great way to save on a new one. So finally, Apple has released iOS 18 stable build for the classic and idols. So again, if we talk about which iOS version handles web browsing more smoothly, then again, the competition is fierce. There's not a much noticeable difference, especially when we played the video on the Apple website and then on YouTube as well. There could be any minuscule and minor differences of just few milliseconds. But again, you cannot overall tell the difference that which one was more faster. So if we talk about the video load time and its playback, then iPhone 16 with iOS 18 was a little faster when we compared to iPhone 15 with iOS 17. But again, it was a difference of just few milliseconds. So again, when it comes to battery performance test, iPhone 16 was clearly ahead than iPhone 15 as the iPhone 15's battery drained faster than the iPhone 16, which was also told in the keynote that when it comes to the video playback, iPhone 16 has up to 22 hours of video playback more than two hours than the iPhone 15 version as iPhone 15 only had up to 20 hours of video playback. Now on the sixth number, let's talk about the camera speed test. So first we'll have to make sure that both of the phones are on home screen or log. Then we'll simultaneously launch the camera app on both the devices and record the time that it takes for camera app to open and be ready to use it. We'll also test how quickly the phones take picture once the camera is open. the camera test is done once again the results are pretty similar as you saw that that the camera apps in both the devices opened all of these videos and photos simultaneously but most of the times iphone 16 was just a little ahead than iphone 15 but also you have to remember when we were taking videos in cinematic and slow-mo mode sometimes iphone 15 with ios 17 loaded videos much faster but again iphone 16 with ios 18 software was a little faster than iphone 15 with ios 17. so in most of the tests iphone 16 is just nudging the iphone 15 when it comes to all of the speed tests and at last the goat benchmarking test is here so first we'll download and install benchmarking apps like geekbench and tutu then we'll run the same benchmarks on both devices at the same time we'll compare the cpu scores gpu scores and the overall performance and yes there's a bonus as well that will be the thermal test so first let's open the geekbench 6 app so as you can see we have ios 18 on the left side and ios 17 on the right side so here are all the details of both these devices and now let's first run the CPU benchmark. So as you can see on the screen, these are the final results. So let's first talk about the single core score that is 3239 for iPhone 16 with iOS 18 operating system. And on the other hand, we have iPhone 15 with 2619 single core score, which dons the iPhone 17.5.1 operating system. And similarly for the multi-core score that is 7824 for iPhone 16 and 6526 for iPhone 15. So you can clearly see the major difference in scores. And of course the cores that have more score are much more powerful and that is the case with iphone 16 here so now let's also check the thermal temperature of this phone as well so let's point our gun to the iphone 16 here and its temperature is 31.9 degrees celsius that is almost 32 degree so it's pretty hot similarly let's check for iphone 15 so by the feel of it it looks a little cooler but let's see and it's 31.3 degrees so yes it's a bit cooler than iphone 16 and for the single core scores, you can also see the comparison with other Apple devices as well. 
and here are our GPU metal scores as well and you can clearly see that again iPhone 16 with iOS 18 OS is pretty ahead than iPhone 15 with iOS 17 OS. So the score is 27891 on iPhone 16 and 227691 for iPhone 15. So there is a clear visible difference between both of these devices when it comes to the GPU scores. So now let's run the anti to benchmark scores. And just tap on start testing. So the final scores for the N22 benchmark is here and there are four different parameters first one is CPU then there's GPU then there's MEM and lastly there's UX. So let's first talk about iPhone 16. So of course CPU is much more than when we compare to iPhone 15 which is understandable and also the GPU is pretty far ahead than the iPhone 15. And if we just tap on this icon here, you can see other detailed scores as well. Similarly with the GPU, there are other scores as well. So when it comes to the MEM, that is basically memory performance of a device which includes the performance of RAM and internal storage that is ROM. And here surprisingly, the scores of iPhone 16 is lower than iPhone 15. iPhone 15 is much more score when it comes to the memory performance, especially this parameter RAM latency is very much more in the iPhone 15. So since iPhone 15 has a higher MEM score which indicates that it has better memory performance meaning the device can handle data more efficiently. And lastly there's UX where of course iPhone 16 ranks better than the iPhone 15 version even though not by a big margin. And it all includes things like video editing, video recording, UI, UX, image processing and image decoding. So all of the visual things. So overall iPhone 16 performs better than iPhone 15 even though not by a big margin. But there are still some bits and cracks where surprisingly iPhone 15 sometimes shines. So that was a complete speed test between iPhone 16 with iOS 18 and iPhone 15 with iOS 17. We did 7 different tests to give you a clear and concise answer that which one is better and how these devices are performing with the OS that they have. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have come here then definitely you are a true geek so like this video share it with the friends and family and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel that is iGeeks blog with that i'll see you guys in the next video till then keep enjoying your life and let me also enjoy my life